The following video is sponsored by Cotner Funeral Home. Previously in our Reynoldsburg football series. Use their arrogance to our advantage. Because what they didn't forgot is that we got guys in this room that was on the team that beat them. So I can tell y'all ain't been watching film. I can tell nine well, not enough of them ain't been watching film. And we're to go at week five, then you don't belong on the field. Last week we examined Reynoldsburg's defense and went behind the scenes as they defeated one of their toughest rivals in the OCC. This week we explore the other side of the ball, Reynoldsburg's offense. It starts with coach AJ Lash, and examining film is one of the most important things for building a sound offensive strategy this week. I got to need some mic. We got to be, we got to do a good job of hitting our goal route. See, we got to do a great job stacking over top. Lacar Trent, number 19, is, is, is their best DB. All right. Second fastest guy in the state of Ohio. He can run. So that means for receivers, we have to use the proper technique. We got to stack over top. Okay, they're going to be physical. Understand, man, we're in OCC Ohio play. Nothing is easy. This team is prepared to win. As they face the Gahanna Lions, their first thoughts snap to the records of themselves and their opposing team. Cincinnati Elder, Governor Kaufman, Pick Central. All three of those teams rank in top 10 state. And we're the fourth ranked team. All right, so, you know, and, and nothing would make this season more than for them to knock us off. The Raiders stand at an impressive 6-0. and oh. The Lions stand at an unimpressive 3-3. Three and three. But the coaching staff doesn't want these athletes focusing on records. They want to ensure the most respect is put into their preparation and for the other team. All right, but I need focus. The most important thing I, I can say to you guys, we got to focus and want to do a great job to wear our side of the top. Okay? Coach. Talking about running the route, you're looking at that, the three tech, the, you're looking at the two down lineman, you're looking at him, you're looking at him, and you're looking at the mic. You remember, this is how we had a lot of success last year, because he, because Carter Johnson was crossing Joe's face, crossing Joe's face, and we ended up just washing him down, and then running Louie that way. Yep. And we had a lot of success off of that. If anyone knows Coach Lash and the rest of the Raiders, they know a little friendly competition motivates them most. Gotta close that gap down regardless. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, okay. yeah, you're just Some practices transition from fun competition to serious criticism and coaching. Mess up too often, and you have the added advantage of getting a little stronger. Coach AJ has little time to tighten up his offense. In just three days, they'll face their toughest challenge yet. You talking about uh, Dalton's gotta be back. So that, that, listen, three tech. Well, hey. it wasn't necessarily a three. Let's back up one like more one. time. Listen, let's back you know up one I mean? more time. I agree. Because yeah. Mark can't get there. Who's got the football? Come on, Des, lock it down. Monday, Monday, Monday. The offense is 11 pieces working together to score. Quarterbacks have a unique job to lead the pacing and feel of the offense. To keep this position on point, Reynoldsburg has a dedicated coach in Matt Perkins. Uh, Matt Perkins, I coach the QBs, and then I also do the JV offensive. One of the big things for me when I wanted to get into coaching is one of my first goals was to help come back to my alma mater and help help turn this thing around. You know, historically we haven't been a very successful program. So that was kind of my first thing was I wanted to help be a part of the turnaround around here because I feel like Reynoldsburg has always had the talent, um, but just never really been able to put it together. Um, you know, I enjoy coaching quarterbacks because that's something that I did. And, um, you know, they're the leaders of the offense. So you got to have really smart guys and really technically sound guys. Um, so those are kind of the things I'm big on. Uh, changing with Mike Watley and the rest of your QBs this week with Doug 
Um, not much, man. We're going to do the things that we do, the things that we've been successful with. Um, you know, we'll make adjustments as the game goes on. But, you know, with, with Gehanna, they're, they're athletic. Um, they're, they're physical up front. They're good at stopping the run. So that's going to be a challenge for us. Um, but, you know, we're pretty athletic too. So against man teams, you know, we're confident that we can do what we do. As the defense finds success early on, the Reynoldsburg offense struggles to join them. I told you, every other coach on staff told you that these guys were going to come out. Now it's about how you respond. Do you understand me? They're not doing anything that we haven't seen. Double, then this guy... At halftime, the score reflects the inability for both offenses to score. Reynoldsburg coaches are quick to try to figure out why. One question. How far is he? Well, we can run it out three by one. Somebody on the front side, linebacker. This is easy. But you gotta have it in your heart, fellas. You gotta have it right here. Reynoldsburg is close to making yet another close comeback in the fourth quarter, but the deciding three points scored earlier in the game would seal their fate and tarnish their undefeated record. But the coaches know that this means little to the rest of their season. You gotta get back in that winning mode. With the winning attitude. Okay? This is where we're gonna find out who's all in. Or, 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 or who's jelly butt. We're getting ready to find out real quick. I'll know tomorrow morning when guys show up. If you show up to work, I know you're in. If you don't, I know you're not. All right? We're going to get refocused. Everything that we plan to do is still there. Let's get it done, man. <laughs>